Hi everyone, I'm Phil from Tech for Techs. Today we're going to be looking at this Maxitol Z1 SSD. We've got the 960 gigabyte version, but they also do a 240 gigabyte as well as a 480 gigabyte version as well. We have got links in the description with full prices uh, and links to purchase if you want to have a look. But bear in mind, prices are fluctuating quite a bit at the moment with all the issues with shipping and shortage of uh, SSDs and memory on the market. Okay, quick one about the pricing. Pricing changes on a daily basis, but at the moment the 960 gigabyte version retails for roughly 95 quid. Uh, the 480 is roughly 62 pounds, and the 240 gigabyte version is around about 30 pounds. So that's roughly around about what you'd expect for most SSDs. Um, the read and write performance on this, the read speed is the same on all of them, uh, which is 540 megabytes per second, which is basically the maximum speed you're really going to get out of serial 88 connection anyway. Um, the write speeds does vary depending on the size. The larger 960 gigabyte version runs at 475 megabytes per second, uh, the 480 is 465 and the 240 runs at 425. Also the total uh, bytes written, um, as in the reliability, the 960 gigabyte version is 360 terabytes, the 480 gig version is 180 and the 240 is 90. The mean time between failures is roughly 1.2 million and they all come with a standard three year warranty. Pretty much, it's pretty much a standard SSD. Um, Maxito, if you don't know, is actually a Seagate product. It'll say that on the front. Uh, they were bought out a good few years ago, Maxito, and have been sort of <sighs> come back into the market as Maxito is again, but it's under the Seagate brand. Um, you have got software you can download for basically most SSDs from them. They've got a disk wizard and a few other tools like C tools and so forth, which you can basically download and use, uh, allow you to clone and different things like that. Um, but if you have a look at it, uh, the box, it's pretty straightforward. It's blue and black. Um, you've got a picture of the SSD on there, it tells you the size, six gigabytes per second SATA connection. Um, which is pretty standard. On the back you've also got all your specifications but in different languages and stuff like that. On the bottom you've got small print and on the top uh, again it just tells you about for a year warranty and you can recycle it basically. But otherwise that is pretty much it for these. So inside the box you've basically got two things. You've got your Seagate limited warranty, so we know it's for a year warranty. It's going to have your usual terms and conditions and who to contact and so forth in there. Uh, and most of it is going to be in different languages. Uh, but let's have a closer look at the SSD itself. So as you can see, it looks like any other traditional SSD. It's got your, it says Maxitor along the front and solid state drive. Uh, if you flip it over onto its back, You've got all your information you need from the size to the model number, serial numbers and all your other uh, marks at the bottom down there. It's got traditional screws so you can screw it into your case on the bottom or into a tray and the same along both sides. So it's pretty straightforward. So let's have a look at the testing. Okay, here we're putting the Maxitor Z1 up against the Samsung 860 Evo. The Samsung drive does actually cost around about 30% more, but is renowned on the market as being one of the best SSD drives out there, or at least in 2.5 inch wise. Uh, as you can see there, the Samsung does beat the Maxitor by quite a bit on the read speeds on Crystal Disk Mark, uh, but the write speeds is very little between the two. Uh, but saying that, it does still win. Now, as you can see here, also comparing it with a Kingston A400, you can see the Maxitor does fall quite behind on the read speed by 30. There's a nearly 50 megabytes per second difference uh, between it and the Kingston A400. Using Crystal Disk Mark again, you can see here on the write speeds that the 
Maxitor drive does again fall behind. But when I say it falls behind, it's only by 10 megabytes per second. So to be honest, in reality, would you notice a difference? Probably not too much, if even at all. Uh, but uh, it does fall behind both the Samsung and the Kingston, unfortunately. In this test, we use an Atto. Again, we're comparing the Maxitor and the Samsung head to head. Uh, and on here, you'll see obviously the speed differences the left column, uh, which is right, and the right column, which is read. Uh, and as you can see here, that believe it or not, using this test in the right speed, the Maxitor drive is faster than the Samsung, and in the read speed uh, as well. Here you can see the full speed test there, and you can see the Maxitor beats the Kingston, so basically it's completely in reverse to all basically what it says on the Crystal Disk Mark test. It's complete different readings to Crystal Disk Mark, which is a strange one, because it's basically like a mirror image, and with all tests we've run them roughly around about five times just to double check, and even more times if we think something might be going off. We use the same machine and everything else as well. The right speeds here, they're pretty much identical apart from the Kingston, which which is falling behind uh, but again it's a mirror image to what crystal disk mark came up with its speed test which uh, is a little bit uh, making me wonder which one is right and which one's wrong what we're going to do now is a real-time test we're going to copy from a 5000 megabytes per second drive uh, onto these two drives and as you can see there the actual speed going fast you can see the bottom test is the Samsung the top one is the Maxitor and as you can see the Samsung is actually beating the Maxitor one only by a bit if you would notice it in normal daily use you probably wouldn't notice it but it does actually beat it uh, well not hands down but just about and again similar thing here we're basically writing the information the other way around and again the C uh, Samsung drive is performing better uh, than the Maxitor but overall the Maxitor drive does perform very well and it does keep up with the Samsung drive and bear in mind the Samsung drive is a premium drive and the Maxitor is not it's more of your everyday type of drive it is cheaper roughly 30% cheaper uh, but it isn't 30% slower it's more like probably uh, 3 or 4% in most of the tests so overall uh, I'd still highly recommend this product.